I'm Felina. And I'm Summer. And you are listening to Broke and Broken. <laughs> because we're both. The podcast about living your best life by getting real. Hey, broken people. This is Summer. Um, it's hard to believe that this is the 50th episode of Broke and Broken, but it seemed like an excellent opportunity to, for me to send a message to our listeners. Um, we've talked about the vision for Broke and Broken a little through some of the episodes, but never really felt the need to directly say it. Um, but I was recently notified that I had been nominated for an award focused on recognizing those who are working to end the stigma around mental health, in part because I had created this podcast. Now, I'm not going to name the organization because I wasn't chosen, so I don't have any permission from them to publicly associate their name with ours. But it made me think um, that nomination means that our work is here is being noticed, that it's helping people. Um, we occasionally get messages from listeners that state that say this as well and it's absolutely incredible each and every time um, to know that we're having an impact on lives this podcast was born from a need that i saw during all my community work every time i spoke at an event whether the topics was were domestic violence or sexual assault substance abuse whatever people would contact me and tell me how much my words meant because they had some sort of experience with that issue, but they felt silenced and unable to talk about it. And I was teaching a workshop in Oklahoma City about domestic violence and sexual assault, and I realized uh, that when I got there that everyone in the room had either been through one of my previous workshops or already worked in some capacity related to those issues. So since I didn't need to cover the basics, I sort of threw out the script and we had a discussion about how to change the structural social issues that have created the current state of affairs and to shift attitudes and perceptions so that we could hopefully see actual reductions in incidences and violence rather than only being reactionary and helping people cope and navigate. So during that discussion, I mentioned how I wish we could get these messages to larger audiences. I mean, I speak publicly, of course, um, which are usually, you know, small gatherings, you know, maybe 50 people occasionally, you know, a couple hundred, but that at, at most. Um, and I used to write about these things when I had a blog, but even that was still rather limited. My average readership was about 500 um, per blog post. Um, and I've had people ask me to write a blog, a, a book for years. But I don't have the attention span to get it done. So during all of this conversation, someone mentioned that's why they enjoyed podcasting, because it can be done in small pieces in order to accommodate that, and it can be easily shared. So I took that back, and I gave it some thought. And But I didn't want it to just be me talking all the time, like I am today. I mean, can you imagine how quickly you'd get tired of me if it, I did this all the time? <laughs> So I realized that if my goal was to help people find their voice and to eliminate the stigma and shame that silences us, the best way was to provide a platform for others to tell their stories about whatever their struggle is and to help the audience realize that they're not alone. I mean, no matter what your struggle is, you are not alone. There are over seven and a half billion people in this world. I assure you that no matter what it is you've gone through, there's someone out there who has dealt with something similar and so it's okay to struggle and it's time that we smash the stigma attached to those struggles because that was those are put in place as a way to control people through shame and it's killing all of us so um, Broken Broken's been around now for just under a year and during that time we've covered topics like mental health, online dating, experiencing racism, sexualization, and fetishization, um, addiction, sex, adoption and fostering, um, the damaging messaging that's embedded in many religions, um, sexual assault, the importance of being socially and politically involved, gender and sexuality, chronic illness, domestic violence, and daring to do the work of healing and recovering from trauma. Um, we've started getting requests from listeners who want to tell their stories, um, some for the first time. We're hearing from people about the positive impact that the show is having, and I sincerely hope that it continues to grow and help countless people. 
And so today I just want to ask our audience to reach out to us. Let us know how we've affected you. If you'd be interested in being interviewed, let us know. If there's a topic you'd like for us to address, tell us. Um, never hesitate to engage with us. And please remember to share our content so that more people can get the message that it's perfectly okay to be broke and broken because we all are in some way. You can contact the podcast at brokebrokenpodcast at gmail.com. The Broken Broken Podcast can be found on Twitter at Broke Broken Show, on Instagram and Facebook at Broke Broken Podcast.